Hello and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.webs.com video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve some DVD uh, ripping problems. Um, now, uh, I've been asked a lot of questions about um, some problems with ripping a DVD uh, where they're not able to rip some of the DVDs. Uh, mainly the reason why is because of the new uh, the new uh, de uh, copyright uh, decryption that they put in the newer DVDs today. And there's not no freeware program that I know of. If, if you do know one, just uh, put it down in uh, the uh, comments below. But so far I don't know one. <clears throat> and uh, but uh, there, there is a program. Um, they have a free version and then they have a paid version. Now, the free version, you can end up copying a lot of uh, copy protected DVDs, but there's some of them that uh, well has a uh, has a better uh, copy protection decryption on the DVD, and uh, even WinX and uh, DVD for three can't uh, break that. So, in order to do that, to get a program that will do that, you got to get WinX DVD uh, Ripper Platinum. Another program you might think about uh, to rip the DVD is um, Magic DVD Ripper. <clears throat> uh, now, Magic DVD Ripper, it has problems with ripping those uh, uh, movies too. Uh, although you're still able to rip a lot of DVDs with uh, Magic that is copy, uh, copyright protected, but there's a, the, the ones that has the new uh, copyright decryption on it, uh, even Magic DVD won't rip it because I've tried it on my other computer, although I don't have it on this one. Okay, now <clears throat> when I'm saying DVD ripper, I'm not talking about DVD copying. Uh, a good DVD copier would be DVD Fab. Now, DVD Fab is a good DVD copier, and it would uh, copy those newer uh, those newer DVDs with the the new uh, copy protection decryption on it. So, uh, <clears throat> but I'm not talking about that. All right. All this does is just basically uh, copies the DVD. Although you, it does copy the DVDs, and you can use this to uh, uh, use the uh, and just use the VLB uh, v file. Uh, you could do it that way, and it would be pretty high depth. Uh, but the unfortunate thing about it, it, it ends up uh, ripping it into a very large file format. You're looking at probably about uh, 4.7 gigs of uh, space taken up for just one movie. Um, so if you if you have a lot of space, you have like a couple of terabyte hard drives, then this right here will be good enough for you. But if uh, if you, if not, and you want to have even if you do have a uh, um, a lot of space, uh, if you want to have a whole bunch of movies, uh, uh, it's best to use one of these programs. Now, <clears throat> as I said before, uh, the best thing to get to get those newer DVDs with the uh, with the good decryptions on them uh, is best to get WinX DVD Ripper Platinum or Pro. Now I'll show you how much you could probably end up finding a uh, you know a crack version somewhere on YouTube like everybody does, but to get the pro version, it's not really that much. It's only nine ninety nine for the pro edition, and really you know just go ahead you know shell out the ten bucks and get the pro pro edition. You know that way you ain't got to worry about uh, you got to worry about getting caught using uh, illegal software. So you know just pay the ten dollars and get the pro, and the pro version where. Uh, We'll do the uh, we'll do the DVDs with the uh, copy with the new uh, copy protection uh, decryptions on them. Like as you can see right here, supports DVDs of the latest copy protection technology. Like it did, uh, it does Transformers 2, Dark Knight, Star Trek, uh, Up, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, and then of course it does the other uh, copy protection as well. As you can see right here, the free edition doesn't do that. That's why on my other video. When I did one on uh, WinX DVD Ripper free version, I told you what how to get DVD for three as well, uh, in order to be able to copy the movies that has the regular uh, copy protection on it. By the way, it is not illegal to copy movies that you have bought. Um, the sole purpose of doing this is to show you how to copy movies that you have bought yourself and back them up on your hard drive or put them on your iPods and stuff like that. Uh, the platinum's not that much either; it's only uh, twenty nine ninety five. Uh, really, I hate doing uh, videos on on paid programs but unfortunately I don't know the freeware programs that uh, like I said before were handled the new uh, the new uh, copy protection technology they got out now uh, <clears throat> I'm sure sooner or later they'll have a free version out that would do that or like I said before um, um, leave a comment down below letting me know if there's a program that would do that 
So I went ahead and just got the platinum version. I went ahead and paid the twenty nine dollars and got that. So I ain't got to worry about it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Okay, one of the movies that has that real good copy protection on it uh, is called um, Paranormal Activity. Uh, and that movie right there has that real good copy protection on it to where, you know, I couldn't use the free version to do it. So I had to get this version. So um, when I went to go rip the disc, okay, um, I forgot to show you, there would be a pop-up uh, window here telling you about, uh, you know, how, telling you to go to the site to, the site to learn how to uh, rip a... Uh, the, the DVDs with the new copy protection technology and uh, basically basically it's going to take you to this site right here and it's going to give you step by step instruction but basically I'm going to tell you how to do it that way because this right here the way they explain it, it's kind of confusing so I'm going to you know, show you how to do it what you want to do once you have that movie in there is you want it to open up and probably the best one to use is probably uh, Windows Media Player uh, by the way if your movie won't play in Windows Media Player uh, download a program called K-Lite Kodak Pack. It's, uh, that's probably the reason why it's not playing, is that you know, win, uh, Windows Media Player needs the Kodaks for it. Okay, what you want to do is, you want to go ahead and play the movie, okay? Uh, you want to go ahead and pass all the, um, all the cut scenes and stuff like that. Um, so you pick out which, uh, if you have uh, a, a movie with alternate ending or something like that, pick whichever one you want. I'm going to go ahead and just do the regular one. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and play the movie. Now this stuff right here, don't pay no attention to this part. Wait till it actually gets to the movie itself. So you want to skip all the uh, the little, uh, the little extra uh, uh, trailers and stuff like that. And wait till you actually get to the movie itself. Okay, once you get to the movie, what you want to do is look up here where it says Title 54. Now it might also end up going back and saying... It might actually end up going back and saying like chapter one, or uh, um, but or go back and say title, and that's what you want to look for is title. So after you find that out, make sure, like I said, make sure it's on the main movie. And um, when it says that, what you got to do is look for uh, title fifty four. Now I've already checked it here earlier because <clears throat> I wanted to double check my work. <laughs> and uh, but anyhow, you check that right there, and that's pretty much all you have to do. And then down here, of course, you figure out which format you like to put it in and if anything else down here that you like to change. It'll be okay if you want to go ahead and leave everything as the default and just hit start and it'll pretty much start. Okay, once it's done, um, you can go to start computers unless you direct it to go somewhere else. Like if you clicked right here and had the output folder somewhere else, then you go to wherever you have it at. But if you didn't and you left it the same, it should be in your uh, local C drive. And again, go to output folder. And there it is. And the movie should be on there. There it is. See Title 54 AVI. And you can see right here, here's the ending to it. And there's the ending of the movie. So it did the whole movie. And I've actually sat through and watched the whole movie. Another movie that I had the same problem with was. Uh, uh, a movie I got for my daughter is uh, Twilight New Moon, and um, I end up having to sit through that to make sure this actually works, and it actually does work. Don't really care for the movie, but you know, I thought the movie sucked, but I don't know. That's my personal opinion. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, yeah, this is the only way that I know how to uh, bypass those new copy uh, copyright uh, decryptions that they got on the new newer DVDs today. So, anyways, uh, like I said, you know, shell out the ten dollars or shell out. You know the 30 bucks for for this program right here it's really worth it and it is a very good ripper it's much more superior to next dvd ripper win x and even um uh, magic dvd ripper okay uh, a couple other problems that you have if you still have problems with copying your dvds and stuff like that check the dvd maybe there's something wrong with the dvd itself um another thing is uh especially uh you might have problems with uh, a dvd because you might have gotten it from like Netflix or Blockbuster or something like that. Uh, a lot of those movies has been used by so many people. You know, the the disc gets damaged sometimes, so that might be another problem right there. Is, is using those. But like I said, if you're going to copy movies, you know, buy it and then copy it and then put it up or something like that. Uh, that's the whole point of these uh, DVD rippers and copiers. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.